All right, I'm melting down a candle, just an old candle. And I'm gonna try my hand at grunging up these. This is gonna be part of a thrift flip that I'm gonna do. So I have it all taped up. And while I'm melting it, I'm gonna go ahead and do these Dollar Tree. This one doesn't work, so I'm gonna start with that one. If it doesn't work, candle doesn't work either, so it's okay. But I have my, oh, the Presto Fryer here. I use what I used to do my candles in, but I got the bigger one and put the spigot on it for my candles. And I'm using my pour pot and melting that in there. And I have here some whoa, coffee grounds. I don't know if I have enough. That's all I have left because I use them on the candles I make with the glue and cinnamon. And I have cinnamon to add in there. But I have those taped off and I'm waiting for this to melt. And then I'm gonna add some stuff in there and try my hand at it. Let's see how it goes. All right, it has melted. I haven't done this before. We're gonna see how hard it is. This was just a candle, an old candle that I melted down and you gotta do a double, like in a double broiler. I'm gonna pour my coffee in. I don't know if I have enough coffee. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough texture, but I had a recipe from, I'm telling you, it was 2002, and it said to use um, oats in there with coffee. But, oh, we're gonna see. Don't wanna inhale that cinnamon. I wanna see the color of this too. I don't think that I've got enough texture stuff in there. But you have to let it cool. But I am gonna take a little cup of water because I wanna see my color. It's a... Uh, kind of brown. It's darker in spots. I do have some uh, candle wax, I think, in burgundy. I'm gonna throw that in there for a little color. Wouldn't have to, but I'm gonna try it. Because this has to cool down. You kind of have to whip it. I probably need it in a different container. That's not quite so deep. I think I'll get something I can throw away. Hang on. Okay, I went and got me an old cottage cheese container, but I'm gonna add some color into it. I suppose you could use food coloring, like some uh, red and brown. Well, you don't have brown food coloring, do you? Red and, what makes brown? Red and, I can't remember. Try this, it's starting to want to thicken up. I'm gonna try that color. Oh, I wanted to wear gloves. <clears throat> Let me see what that color is. What did I do with my one with the water? Okay, you're going along with me, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna just do this together and experiment. Okay, let's see if that turned it just a little bit red. Yeah, I like that color. I think that's gonna be good. You see that? 
lighting's not very good there. It's kind of got a red cast to it. All right, I'm gonna pour it. into this carton here, or some of it anyway. I'm gonna have fun cleaning out my candle pot. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the water. Get me a... Now this is supposed to cool some. There, you can see it starting to turn. It's cooling. It's not lumpy enough. It doesn't have any texture. I don't have enough coffee. That's okay. Uh, I think I need my... I'm gonna go put my... Uh, apron on, because I don't want that wax splashing all over me. Okay, I'm back. It's starting to cool down. Okay. Yep, whoops. You definitely want an old towel and stuff. Don't want, I'm just gonna try to drizzle some of this on there, see what it does. May have to give it more than one coat. And I'm on the wrong side, so you can't see what I'm doing. Hang on. Doing the inside first. I did cover my bulb with uh, masking, or not masking tape, but painter's tape. Well, it's leaving its own texture. I gotta hurry, because this stuff's setting up. Setting up fast. I may not be doing this right, but I don't want to get more inside. How do you do this? And that right there. I probably could use a little pot of water, hot water, to set this in. Well, I couldn't, because I got it in plastic. Next time, I'm gonna be more prepared. That's looking good. Now, I need to hold it by the bulb. I'm gonna have to set it down. There's my parchment paper over there. Okay. Hope my bulb doesn't come out. Am I in frame? I don't know if my lighting's any good. Oh, yep, my bulb came out. That's what it did. Hurry. It's always kind of bad the first time you do something, you don't know what you're doing. And then here, I choose to do it on camera. That's how we grow, right? You have to learn what you're doing. You come on, you say, you do do this, 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 make it look so easy. Hey, I think I got it covered. I like it. It's chunky enough. The wax made it chunky. Uh, I really need my parchment paper underneath the camera. I'm gonna move the camera. Hang on. 
just a second. I'm coming back. <clears throat> okay, now I'll check around for boo-boos where I touched it. I really don't see any. Well, there's just a little tiny. It doesn't look bad at all. Maybe right there. That's cute. I like it. Okay. That turned out really cute and it wasn't that hard. It's just kind of nerve wracking the first time you do it because you don't know what you're doing, but you can figure it out. It kind of sets up and starts it on its own. I see a little spot right in here. I might try touching up. My wax is getting a little hard. Wasn't hard to do. Okay. I'm gonna set it down and let y'all have a better view. And that's how it turned out. Not bad. I see a little something there, but actually it shows up more on camera than it does out. I don't know if my wax might be too hard right now. Whoops. Looks good. You know what they charge for these things in the store? Okay, there you have it. First time. That's a Dollar Tree candle. The votive. Not the votive. This one right here. It looked like that to start with. I think I like this one. Okay, I'm going to continue on and do some more, but... I wanted to share with you the first time trying this, and it wasn't hard at all. And I, I really enjoyed doing it. I really did, it was fun. Okay, I wanted to show you, for the wax I had left, I just poured it out of my pour pot into an old candle jar. And I'll just put that on there, and this jar can be kind of heated down in some water, and then I can dump it back down in my pour pot and do some more. Okay, I was looking for something to, uh, you know, tint the, the flames on it. I'm trying to figure something out because if you put the wax on it, these candles twist on and off by the, the flame part. It would just peel off, as does, okay, this one here. I had cinnamon and the Mod Podge on there, and it peeled off that plastic, too. There's just little bits and pieces that stayed on, but... I was looking for my Tim Holtz, probably vintage photo. I can't find my stamp pads anywhere. So I was digging around and I found, where's the lid? Some of this stencil cream. And I mean, I've had it for a while because the top of it is like hard, but I peeled it back and I took a paper towel and I wiped it down with that and then kind of, wipe, kind of wiped it off. I'm gonna let it dry and see what it does. I did it with this one too. This is the one that had the cinnamon on it. And you can see the difference. I think that looks way better. I'm hoping it stays. If it does, it'll be a solution to the candle top being so white. And I smeared some on the bottom too. As you can see how white the bottoms are. But I'm going to let it set for a while and come back and act like I'm turning them off and on and see how they come out. Okay, it's the next day and I let the stencil cream dry overnight and 
I've come in and it is, it's completely dry and it's not rubbing off. It doesn't rub off. So that's my solution to cover the bulbs and make them look better than just being plain white and it stay on without coming off. That was my stencil cream.